We got the MSI Pulse GL66 12 UGKV. I believe this came out more recently. Only the name here and then nothing on the other side, surprisingly. But it's running the 12th gen of Intel. And the GPU is an RTX 3070. Now I saw someone complain about this not having the accurate voltage. We've got the wall outlet charger. We do also have this quick guide by MSI. Just notice the specs on the little box here. So here is everything. I'm a little disappointed that this it has DDR4 RAM, 16 gigs. Um, probably not too big of a deal, but still would have liked to see something newer. This has a bit of a more sleek design, gaming feel, look and feel. Are these the exhausts in the back? Looks kind of interesting nonetheless. With the two hinges on the side, this can actually tilt all the way back by 90 degrees. And it actually feels comfortable leaving it back there like that. Not that it's like barely holding on. The webcam is located on the top along with the microphone. And the quality is good enough for some calls. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. The screen is also pretty solid in terms of brightness and even resolution. I mean, it's a normal 1920 by 1080 resolution. You probably won't be able to use this outdoors in daylight, though. The keyboard has some good feedback. And it does light up to a couple different colors. You can have a different type of breathing. And you've got speakers on the front that are actually decent. I always like front-facing speakers. They're always better than having in the back or somewhere on the side. The new standard, or it should be at least. This laptop is great for video editing. I haven't really noticed it get, getting too hot even after using it for an hour or two. I mean, the fan does get a little louder, but it really starts to get loud when you're gaming. And that can be an, an issue in and of itself, which I'll talk about more later on in the video. Underneath the current laptop I have is my old laptop in black, which is thicker and the bezels are smaller on, my, on the new one compared to you know the old one which is really nice. It makes it easier to carry around in a laptop. I mean, no matter how small the difference it might be, it's definitely a difference, and it's also thinner as well. This comes with Windows 11 pre-installed. If you're worried about switching from Windows 10 to 11, uh, trust me, it's all right. I actually prefer Windows 11 now because of the UI interface. There's about 386 gigabytes free, uh, which really isn't that much wiggle room, so I personally use a cloud storage space so I don't really have too many problems. You can still download a couple of games and I will show some gameplay here because gaming is just fine on here. I've got some Witcher gameplay here with a couple different settings and I won't do much talking. I'll just have you watch it and you can see for yourself how consistent it is with 60 FPS or at 60 FPS. graphics I, I have set for Modern Warfare 2. The quality, I have it set to 144 frames as a custom limit for everything. And this will probably work best, these graphics settings. You could lower it if you want a smoother frame rate, but I don't get anything less than 120 I want to see. After playing COD for just like an hour or so, or maybe less than an hour, I don't know if you can hear, but the fans have gotten really loud and they're just constantly on. This keyboard is warm. You can definitely feel some heat. Also, after playing for just a few minutes, actually more than a few minutes, like half an hour or so, uh, the keys start to become kind of hot. And then I notice that my fingers are pretty warm to the touch. So it's definitely not a good sign. That's kind of a safety concern in my opinion. Listen to how loud this thing is. I just put it down to sleep. Well, not exactly sleep, but it's just it just gets really loud. I never really inspected the temperature on the laptop because I don't really have a tool to check it. Um, so I can't really say for sure that that is hazardous. I mean, it does feel hazardous because it's warm to the touch. That's not a good sign. But at the same time, uh, if you're playing it for moderate use, I guess it's not a concern, like not for too long. And then it does get my video editing done. However, it does get loud. If you're looking for gaming, you're going to want to look for something else in my opinion. I think the cooling system could have been better in this, honestly.